it's about three months after cross. And one of the first things I did when I got back was upgraded from the OG Wahoo Element to the Roam. I switched over to Wahoo about two and a half years ago from Garmin, um, just because I was experiencing a lot of glitches and stuff with Garmin software and having some pretty not so great user experiences. So I switched over to what seemed like a pretty bomb proof platform and that proved to be true. This has been a really great unit, but then I upgraded to the Wahoo Roam. This has some really nice features that the Wahoo Element doesn't have. Three big changes are the color LCD screen. There's a 17 hour battery life and it's Gorilla Glass protected and IXP7 waterproof. So all of that leads to a better navigation experience, uh, more power for, for multi-day missions, and when I drop this thing at 25 on a gravel road, I don't have to worry that much. Also, a really cool thing about this that's very relevant to our times is the Wahoo Roam pair with the Wahoo Kicker and give you a lot of really cool uh, features that make the Kicker more than just a standard stationary trainer. I know that a lot of you are on Zwift and that's probably your preferred method, but if you're like me and you don't have Zwift and you have to ride the trainer every now and then, this is a cool tool to, uh, to make it just a little bit different. Okay, so brand new in the box, this is what you get. You get the computer out front mount, which is nice, but I have a bunch of cage mounts, so don't need that. Uh, you get a USB charger, just like universal mount, and they throw in some zip ties, and you get the quick start guide. Next is setup, which is super easy. The one thing to note about setup is you do need a smartphone because the only way to set this up is with the Element Companion app. You're gonna go to your app store and look for the Wahoo Companion app. So once you download that, open it up, and then you go here to settings, add a device. Once you hit pair phone, it'll bring up this QR code. You take your phone here and you simply wave it over the QR code. That was fast. Get this notification. So that's it, you can now take this out and ride it. No big deal. But if you wanna customize your data fields or set your zones, you do it all in the app. There's no, there's no finicky buttons to push through on the Wahoo. Everything is done on the app, which makes it super easy. If you want to customize some pages, you can add pages, name the pages, and then add in the metrics that you want. So for this page, this is the first page. I named it Ride Data. That thing will pop up is the first page when I turn on the Wahoo. Right there it is. Ride time, miles per hour, miles, time of day, which direction we're heading, my heart rate, and average mile per hour. So you can do whatever you want. I have an interval page, a power page. I have the map page here and I have power, ride time, heart rate, and average power. When I have a route loaded and I'm doing a workout, I can pay attention to the metrics I need but still follow the route. You can even set it to do text notifications. I just got a text from my mom, so I'll dismiss that and read it later. All right, now that you're all set up, I reckon there's one more thing to do, and that's go for the bike ride. So there's not a lot of gravel around Winston. It's far and few between. Definitely not as plentiful as the Love Valley area. However, I made a route to link up a few sections, and uh, yeah, the uh, Rome is gonna take me there. I made a route on Ride With GPS because that will allow me to have turn-by-turn -turn directions on here. If you do it on Strava, you'll just be following a breadcrumb. So all you have to do is go into the app, choose a route, it's syncing with Ride with GPS right now. There it is, the Winston Gravel Wahoo Ride. Select, it's syncing. Route loaded. So, pulled out the lusty seafoam green Rove. I figured if we were gonna ride some gravel, we might as well whip out the big guns. It's Sunday. Got a decent ride on tap. I've got two 40 minute tempo blocks to do today, so we're gonna cover some ground. Because of those intervals, I'm gonna display a bit more data than just my map. Right now I have ride time, BPM, 
three second power and cadence. So I'm gonna change that and it's super easy to do on the fly. You just take out your phone. So you go to the Wahoo app, you go to pages, go to the map page, and then you just change these data points to whatever you want. So instead of active workout time, I'm gonna do current lap time. Instead of cadence, I'm gonna do average lap power. As I did that, it instantaneously changed here. So now we're all ready for intervals and we can still follow the map so we won't miss any turns. Totally customizable, dude. About to hit the first section of gravel. I'm getting antsy already, getting jittery. Here it is. Ah, feels good, huh? Yeah, yeah, feels good. That was only about a quarter mile. Short lived, but well cherished. On to the next one. cyclist out here today. Just finished up that second block of Tevo. The rest of the ride we get to cruise. But first, I need to stop at a church for some water, because I'm out. And then I gotta show you guys this cool feature that uh, the Wahoo has for navigation. What's up, bird? It's a big peacock. Anyway, I need water. So while I'm here, I'll take advantage of the shade and show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's say I was two and a half hours into a ride and I ran out of food. I could use the Wahoo app to do the take me to function. So I'd go in here, choose a route and do the take me to. And then I could literally put in an address. So let's do the Shiloh general store and select route syncing. Route loaded, we're 16 miles away. So that's pretty sick. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna reload the route that I was on and uh, continue on home. And since I've already synced that route, it's already in my route library. So I just scroll down here to the Winston gravel route and load it and that line is it. So yeah, thank you Bear Creek Baptist Church Youth Center. For the water, I'm gonna get back on the road. Black chevrons mean we're on route, so let's do this. It's another good sign. Same sign as before, just no words. I still get it though, and it makes me just as happy.
You didn't actually think I was gonna ride that, did you? Nice section to end with, huh? That's it, last section of gravel. The finish line is in sight. home. I did that on purpose. I wanted to show you guys something. So I ended my route in the middle of nowhere on purpose, specifically to show you guys the route me back to start feature. Our route is done. We'll go into the app here, choose a route, route to start sinking. Here is the route. It's uh, 14 miles to home. That's pretty cool, huh? Now you do need service to be able to do that. It will utilize maps to pick the shortest route home. In our case, we get on 801, which is a kind of busy road, but then get off of it really soon and then take uh, some less busy roads all the way back to the house. So pretty cool, huh? All right, let's get this ride done. I'm hungry. When I made this route, I thought it was closer to 10 miles home. Not 14. Just scarf down some cubes. I'm gonna smash this goo and I'm gonna rock it home. We're good now. That was a good day. You know how I know it was a good day? Before I go, let's review three things I like best about the new Rome. One is enhanced navigation, um, whether it's just following the route with the color LCD screen, making it super easy to differentiate between busier roads and less busier roads, or utilizing those take me to functions or get me back to start. There's also a uh, get me back on route function. So those are really cool. Two, I really like how easy it is to change the data fields on the fly and also customize other things such as like map orientation, uh, setting up sensors. All that is super easy to do with the app and it's easy to do on the fly. Three, the screen, Gorilla Glass protected and IXP7 waterproof. Enhanced navigation, easy to use, it's super durable. Those are the three things I like about it. So I guess the next thing is just to link all the gravel roads together. Probably do a bakery stop, probably a hundred miles. What will you call it? The Winston Gravel Grinder?